Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot sale haul video. Bear with. Get a bag. Didn't I thought I bought more than I actually did today? So I've got I've got a table full, but I thought well, so I was going out the trolley. I thought I thought there was more than this. So I saw the very lovely Vanjie and her mum again, and from Vanjie I got a paper blanks wooden memento box which I have absolutely no idea on resale value, but I just really liked it. It's very, very nice. It's all kind of inlaid, inlaid coppery veneery stuff. So that's lovely. Paper blanks notebooks are a very beautiful thing. And also from Vanjie, I got something else. Where is it? Oh, I got this tiny, tiny Kath Kidston purse. It was a very sad day because she said to me, look and see what I was keeping for you until I dropped it and smashed it. And it was two lovely Kath Kidston mugs, but she'd broken them. So um, I've got a tiny little Kath Kidston purse from Vanjie. That was two quid for the two things, but she also gave me, which was very kind of her, some handkerchiefs for Caroline's dad. As you, as I've said before, if I see men's handkerchiefs, I pick them up for Caroline's dad. He is in a um, dementia care home, and sadly, one of the issues with the, some of the other dementia patients is they don't know whose handkerchief is whose, and so his handkerchiefs go missing at a rate of knots. So I said I'd pick up handkerchiefs as I saw them. And then there was, uh, so Vanjie gave me those, so thank you very much Vanjie, that was very kind of you. There was a chap giving stuff away, he said everything in here is free, um, so I got two Melamine camping mugs and three Wedgwood collectible child's Christmas plates. So I've got a child's Christmas 1979, a child's Christmas 1981 and a child's Christmas 1980 and I can see absolutely nothing that would define them as being, they're, they're the same children, the same the same, same children are on the bottom and they haven't aged at all in the three years that they've been making plates. No difference whatsoever. They were free and they might sell for about a fiver each. So. I paid four pounds for a pair of hotter shoes from a regular lady who's always there. These ones are called Melody, Hotter Melody, and they are a UK four. I did check them for sole lot. Here's a little tip if you're buying hotter shoes. They have rubber soles and they have a tendency towards sole lot. So if you're buying them secondhand, always bend the sole and make sure they don't crack across before you buy them. Sole lot is simply um, something that happens to rubber sole shoes when they've been in storage and not worn for a long time and the rubber just gradually kind of like withers away and yeah then it cracks across and so there's an a ongoing thing in the reselling community where, pe where new resellers are often surprised when they get a return because the person said oh I wore these, they, you sold me these shoes they were brand new in the box but when I wore them the sole just crumbled and it's called sole lot and, and if you don't know about it it can be a bit of a surprise when your return comes winging back. There you go there's Carla's helpful tip of the day check for sole lot. I also saw Richie today, Richie Blenkin, and he sold me this very lovely Yankee Candle Christmas shade. Uh, do they have names, these ones? I don't know. Um, he had it marked up at £4 and he said for me it was £2, so that was incredibly kind of him. Thank you very much, Richie. So, nice Yankee Candle shade. I bought two Jamie Oliver at home large bowls. I'm not even sure, entirely sure. They're oven, dishwasher, microwave and freezer safe. I'm not entirely sure what Jamie Oliver would have marketed these as because that's a big old bowl. That's, I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not your cereal bowl. Maybe it's a serving dish. I'm just going to have a quick look on eBay. Souffle dish, perhaps. I think it may be a souffle dish, looking at listeds. So two of those. The lady wanted three quid for the two, so I thought we'd give those a go. I bought for 50p an anthropology mug with a C on it. Now, obviously, my name begins with C, but since I'm not a mug user, I will be selling this on. And these sell for about 15 quid, so that was a nice 50 pence worth. A couple of weeks ago, I bought one of these Emma Bridgewater M&S flower tins. So there, there was a collaboration range that Emma Bridgewater did with M&S, and you'd, but you'd buy your flowers in the, in the flower shop at M&S and get the collaborative tin and the lady had these and she bought 50 peach was 22 in total and she did me 22 for 11 for a tenner so i've got this one's called hawthorn berry i think if i remember rightly and then that one's robins and then i've got stars and they're not all the same are they all the same size no i've got three different sizes at the bottom so i've got So I've ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the star ones, 
four of the hawthorn berry ones and five of the robin in a fir tree and then I've also got four of these which are polka dot bumblebee and they're a slightly different size so they're not bad for a tenner I've put the one that I had one that I bought a couple weeks ago I've listed that already and I've had some interest in it already lifting that one at seven pounds so that's that should, that might be a very nice return on my tenner if if they sell for even if they sell for five each 22 of them at a five each 110 pounds my tenner might that might work out very nicely indeed I paid two pounds for a vintage spong this is a meat mincer clamps on your table you put your meat in the top mince away it has different grinding discs and they're all stored here so I don't know how many grinding discs it's come with originally your spawn would have come with about three different sizes I think this one has possibly only one so not a huge value in it probably about a 10 to 12 pound item for, for me two quid and from the same guy I bought what I thought was a complete set because I was cold by then and wasn't concentrating this is Matchmaker Pyrex and it's, I thought it was a complete 18 piece tea service it's a very common print so it's not a huge seller that's the Matchmaker print there turns out I've only got three of the side plates I've just messaged Josh and he's got one so I just need to find another two. Like I said, it's very common print, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find two to make that to a full set. And it is in its box, so that was three quid. Disappointed that it isn't the full set that I thought I'd bought, but not too disappointed for three pound. And then this is everything I bought from Steve, the filler bag guy. So it is my filler bag plus the extras that I bought. So I'll just take the extras out. So this is the actual filler bag, this has been the three quids worth and in my three quids worth I have got a Swimmies float suit, Paw Patrol again, I don't know I don't know this character, I only know Chase from Paw Patrol but Le Le Lexi's here, she might know, Lexi, who is the girl dog in Paw Patrol? Sky. Sky? Natalie knows apparently. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, it's Paw Patrol, Sea Patrol, and she's she's got she's a blonde dog with a pink. Yeah. That's yeah, that's Sky apparently. So there we go. I have recently sold a Paw Patrol chase one. Like when I say recently, I mean like last week, a few days ago. So that went into my filler bag, and then also my filler bag and. 80s cassette case I had a red one of these <laughs> it's actually in really pretty good condition it's a bit split here but um but apart from that pretty good condition so that went in three of the uh, Mary Angela de Costa flower fairies tins now these are not vintage these are um you can get these in Costco around about Christmas time. They come with butter biscuits, pastry biscuits in there. But the, the tins do sell. So somebody sold just the blue one on its own for a fiver, the red one for a fiver. Um, some, somebody had a set of three listed that I saw. Somebody sold two for a tenner. There's three. Somebody sold a set of three for £19. These are empty tins. So, yeah, quite pleased with those. It's the Flower Fairies design that does it, obviously. I picked up a... The Merry Game of Floundering. This is a vintage Spears Games. Don't know if it's all there. It's got lots of cardboard pieces with dice on there. So I'll have to check how many pieces there should be and go through that and see if that's worth a million to pounds. Lexi, this was for you. Lexi had a shopping list this morning and it was a duck, a sheep and an elephant apparently. And she achieved sheep and elephant without my help she achieved sheep and elephant without my help but she did not manage duck but luckily i managed tiny duck oh thanks love you're welcome love go be in my duck collection love fair enough okay and my sheep oh. you're on a sheep collection as well yeah cool. and a rabbit collection and an elephant where in whose house are all these collections going to live my house oh good glad to hear it <laughs> i have enough collections in my own house Ball for the dog, which flashes. Two bags of wooden curtain rings, 
uh, white wooden and brown wooden complete with screws and all the rest of it these sell for crafters crafters by nose one wax melts silicon ice cube tray thing needs a bit of clean up it's got some bits of old wax on it but you know goes in a bundle and two poppets which I will need to well that one's already got a battery in Oh, this one's French. I've never been spoken at, never been spoken at by a boppet in French before. I think he just said I was rubbish. <laughs> so there we go, a French boppet. Is this one French? This one doesn't speak any language, so I'll get away with not being sworn at in front of that one. Yeah, no, that one's English. <laughs> also, my filler bag is a smaller IKEA bag. I didn't even know they did a smaller IKEA bag. I love my IKEA bags, but I didn't know they did a slightly smaller one. And then the other stuff that I got, you're playing with your ball, Molly's playing with her flashing ball. The other stuff that I got from Steed was... The boppets are still screaming. Three little conditioners. <laughs> I got a Kath Kidston Peter Pan collaboration mug. I got a American Gift Collector series by Gift Corps Florida mug. I got Harry Potter. I've got a feeling this is Voldemort's wand. But I've also just realised that it's broken. It is quite badly broken, unfortunately, so that's... Uh, no good to man nor beast. It's broken all the way down there, look. That's a shame. Annoyingly, you could not see it was broken when it was sitting there in the box like that. It is Voldemort, so it says Voldemort on the end. Oh well. And then, finally, two party light votive candle holders. These are the elephants on safari one now i've had the innards before i've sold just these bits before and they actually sold quite quickly um so i don't know don't know what i'm looking at with them in the frosted glass holders now i paid steve a tenner for everything including the filler bags so the filler bags three pound which means those two the two mugs the broken wand and the hair conditioners cost me another seven quid not the end of the world that not the end of the world i think i'm done that's all i have to show you today which is just as well because i'm running short of time today we've got to go over to my mum's and we need to leave about now <laughs> sorry i'm a bit frazzled thank you for joining me i will see you all next week with another car boot haul in the meantime take care bye for now